That's why I asked you that question. Representative Whelan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Major, for your testimony. Um, I guess the number of illegal machines is really who knows. Uh, you had suggested, what, 15,000? Yes, sir. And that's in licensed liquor establishments, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. In my district, um, it's kind of ironic, and, and uh, uh, PSP Liquor Enforcement conducted a raid in Williamsport, and quickly all those machines migrated to convenience stores. and tobacco outlets and sub shops, which Pennsylvania uh, PLCB Liquor Enforcement has no jurisdiction there, correct? They do not. Uh, we use other segments of our department to conduct enforcement there, specifically uh, the vice units out of each of the troops or our Bureau of Criminal Investigation, and they're in a position to conduct enforcement in those locations. Okay. Um, so I just asked my vendor up in Williamsport who does not do anything with his illegal machines. It's his competition that are being brought in, in a lot of cases from out of state uh, and, and plopped around Pennsylvania. Um, he too does not know, but in his district there's probably 15,000 of them. So he probably agrees, but he has a much smaller market than the whole of Pennsylvania. So we really don't know how many illegal machines there are. But my question is, uh, would you support and again, I'm going back to the games of skill, you know, the true games, Pennsylvania games of skill that won that particular case in Beaver County that, yes. that you're aware of. Would you support the ability of law enforcement to be able to verify quickly upon a visit whether that machine is a legal machine or a knocked off machine or a illegal machine? Would you support the ability to do that yeah, without quickly in the on field. That specific machine, what I would support is clarification in the law and something that does make it very clear cut what is legal and what is not as not legal. You know, as I indicated, technology has uh, outpaced our ability to enforce this. I mean, we go back a number of years, and you had a simple knockoff switch uh, on the back of the machine. It was easy to find. It was a per, per se gambling device. Then we went to two prongs on there that used a coin, for example, to close the circuit. And, uh, and, and, and we could determine that was a gambling machine. They've gotten much more sophisticated. Now there's a remote control that's used from across the, uh, you know, the, the bar or across the pizza shop or whatever. And uh, it makes it much, much more difficult unless we actually witness or obtain payoffs uh, from that machine. Very uh, uh, time intensive and resource intensive to do that kind of enforcement. We do it, but again, it takes quite a, a bit to uh, uh, identify a vendor and then, and then conduct enforcement on uh, machines in a, in a number of establishments run by that vendor. So what you're proposing would be helpful to us in terms of uh, clarifying and making it clear that uh, either this mach these machines are legal or not legal and what makes them legal. Um, and thank you because that's exactly, I'm about ready to introduce a bill, uh, probably be next week, uh, on the Pennsylvania Games of Skill which are manufactured right here in Pennsylvania. Um, and that is going to be part of it, where enforcement, no matter what level, will have the ability with a simple smartphone to walk up to a machine off the screen, type in the, the registration number, and it will give the officer the uh, vendor name, location of the machine, the address, uh, the establishment, whether it's a sub shop or a tobacco center or a liquor license, immediately to be able to prove whether it's legal or an illegal machine. Because quite honestly, these Pennsylvania games of skill, uh, some folks from out of state have been able to counterfeit the machine, the logo, everything. And it's not a game of skill. It is exactly an illegal poker machine or slot machine, so to speak. And so that was one of the things that we wanted to make it easy for law enforcement to do. But it's good to hear that you would, you would, would support that. We would be very that. interested in working with you going forward on that, sir. Thank you very much.